Did you know that there could be dangerous chemicals lurking in your home that you didn't even know had a negative health effect? And yes, if you're using conventional laundry soaps, fabric softeners, and think about it, your clothes are now bathed in these chemicals. If you didn't know what those chemicals are, I'm gonna go through a list of them. And now your clothes, of course, are close to your skin now, especially if you're sweating, you're absorbing those toxins into your body. You're sleeping on the sheets that have also been maybe treated and washed in some of these chemicals. And of course, you're sleeping on these throughout the night. These can have really negative effects on your hormones as well. They are called endocrine disruptors. Let's go through the list of some of these chemicals that you really need to be avoiding in your everyday life. Okay, number one on my list is nonylphenol ethoxylate. Now this has been linked to reproductive system problems and is something that definitely you wanna look for on the label in your laundry detergent and maybe those fabric softeners as well. Okay, number two on my list, and these are super common, are SLS, so sodium lauryl sulfate and sodium laureth sulfate, SLES. And in addition to frequently causing irritation for people that are sensitive on their skin to these different chemical compounds, they can also be very harmful to marine life and can often be contaminated with even more carcinogenic impurities. So that's something definitely to be avoiding in your laundry detergents and your fabric softeners as well. And number three on my list is phosphates. Now these can cause both skin but eye irritations as well. Number four on my list are synthetic dyes, also can irritate your skin, so if you're prone to eczema, psoriasis, these can be problematic as well. Number five on my list is optical brighteners. Now, they contain a lot of chemical substances, including even benzene, and we know that benzene increases our cancer risk and reproductive system-related problems, as well as number six on my list, which is called 1,4-dioxane, and this is considered to be a possible carcinogen and number seven is formaldehyde and this is classified as a carcinogen as well can be in your laundry products and number eight is chlorine bleach so yes do you use chlorine bleach in your laundry well it is known to cause skin irritation can cause thyroid issues as well and if you're not familiar with this the halogen group on the periodic table along with iodine chlorine is in that group and chlorine will displace that iodine especially when it comes to your thyroid health so this is something, again, to be really aware of in terms of, you know, those toxins that you have in your home. Now, more importantly, you can do things so much better and so much more healthfully. And this is my tip is to make your own laundry detergent. That's exactly what we use in my home. Absolutely love it. It works really well. It's going to save you a lot of money as well. And I want you to check out my video, how to mix up that laundry soap. It's called DIY Laundry Soap Recipe. I'll see you there.